big and fear often holds us back doesn't it from taking that leap of faith and doing something unknown it does you're going to pay in the bills it's a difficult step to take but as often it, it you know it takes something to, to sort of, maybe it's something health wise or you, you just get to this point and everybody has a different point you know a different attention point i think where they reach it and then that's it that's the snap and it's like that's it i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and do Absolutely. this and, and see what's on the other side um it's quite amusing as well though isn't it when we get that spirit we mentioned it uh, uh, last time i think it's like right we're on we're off yeah. we're off we're off we go <laughs> it's exciting yeah, once you've made that decision <laughs> you have to do, you know really good job and you know nobody could believe what you know why is she leaving that job it must be amazing but it wasn't for me you know it got to yeah. where i was i felt i wasn't well so it's kind of like yeah. you're gonna get to that point and just think you know what this isn't serving me anymore it's not making my heart yeah. sing and you know all those sort of phrases but yeah it's uh, isn't it? yeah yeah and uh it's, it's good to see to hear from somebody that's done something that i think i think really really brave so brave and you continue to be brave every day thank you too going up and doing what you do it's, a, it's just and it, you can see it's the passion though as well uh, the, the passion's there you know because you're doing it all for the right reasons because obviously on a global scale you're, you're changing these children's lives but at the same time you're just delivering constantly aren't you really the love the love is going around as a business as well as uh, as, as actual action <laughs> you know i think that's wonderful when you can do that thank you darling no it's very um you know you communicate it extremely well and i think the the main side of opening up a school is no mean feat i mean i can't imagine if i'm honest with you i can't imagine many people in the uk thinking right okay i'm going to start doing uh, a school tomorrow i'm going to you know because starting that whole network from scratch starting the authority regulations etc and all that how did your brain get round all that because obviously you've said you know you didn't come back you didn't come from teaching you know it's not like you as a teacher to go and do oh i'm going to open a school you had that passion and had to learn so much and network so many people very very quickly and in a short space of time how was you at that point you know that was data overload at one point at that point i would assume Absolutely. You see, when I also opened the school, I remember my friend and the husband came for the opening, and the husband looked at me and said, Kelechi, you have gods. I said, what do you mean? He said, not many people can do this. And when I left, you know, people were coming to look at the school and saying, wow, we never knew that you had this kind of gods inside of you. But I didn't, it, I don't know, but it just came easily to me. I don't know, it was a no-brainer for me to do that. Because um, education continues to be a vehicle for social change. First and foremost, that's what education is. It's for so social change. And social enterprise always comes from an altruistic place. It always comes from a selfless place. It's always, it always comes from identifying a need. And going about how do I, even now, I can assure you, I don't know, I don't have all the answers. I don't even know uh, what's going to happen tomorrow. But I just go with faith. And I say to myself, just keep going. Follow the light, you know, the light, just follow the light, follow the signs on your path. And that's what I do. And that's why I am so grateful to Jo. It's not because she's here. She has... Uh, provided me with a lot of support and Catherine and uh, Sam Collins for even the Aspire for Equality has helped me a lot. You know, the women I've met there, they are incredible. So I don't have all the answers, but when you go for uh, education, it's the only vehicle with which you can change the society. And what I told myself when I came in here is it's going to be very, very minimal fees but very, very high quality. So you see our children, you yeah. see how they are, how good they look. I don't, I don't joke with they looking good and they being in good environment and we taking very good care of them. There's so many things I do and the teachers say, oh, madam, it's so expensive, it's costly. And I say, I want it done this way. I'm not going to yeah. look at cost and not take care of these children.